Welcome everyone to the Tactician's Monday Matches! Alright Tactician, listen up! I got an awesome battle to show you! Well, not so awesome because it's a wee bit of a one-sided. Well, but I've got two battles to show you actually. This time, the first one's going to be a multi-battle. This is actually becoming a regular thing for the Friday Night Throwdown now. I don't know how to feel about that, but you know what? Let's get started with this multi-battle, starting off between me, Potato, Goldie GC, and who's my partner in this? I, I don't know, I, 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 keep, I, I keep forgetting names. I keep forgetting names when I do these things, but either way, let's get started into this. And, oh, my, my, my partner is Brent. Oh, hello there, Brent. Now, I'm going to start off with Coralina. My partner is going to be starting off with a shiny Rishi Ram, named after me. And, my, and our opponents are going to be starting off with a Blastephalon and a Cloyster. Now keep your eye on the Milotic, people. The, Mil the Milotic is the key player for this entire battle. Now starting off, he's gonna, one of our opponents is going to be swapping out the Blastephalon for a Lazikin. And you know, Shell Smash coming out from the Cloister. I'm like, okay, okay, this is alright. I'm like, okay, let's see what we can do here. So, he's going to go for the blue flare, going to go straight into the cloister. I really was hoping for the burn here, but we didn't get the burn. But the focus sash comes out, we see the focus sash, the cloister is going to be doing some nasty things to us. I go for the scald, and, you know, not a good swapping. Swapping in a fire type for another fire type, not the best idea against the water type. We now lure out Goliath, and I'm like, oh, hello there again, Goliath. And you kicked my butt again. I'm not going to be saying that. But Rock Blast now, coming out from the cloister, that's going to be dealing all that damage to the Rushing Ram. You know, for once, I'm actually glad I'm not using Rushing Ram in this battle, because that's just that's just cruel and unusual punishment to a, dra to a dragon type like that. As for Goliath, well, he's like, YOLO! He goes for the Earthquake. Gonna hit everyone on the field. Coralina's not gonna be too happy about that, but Cloyster is gonna be really unhappy about that. So that Cloyster really not good, not happy that that happened. I go for the skull, gonna deal some nice damage, but we get the burn off. So we get some nice burn damage off. Really happy about that. No toxic heal, and hey, it loses uh, physical attack damage. So yee! But this battle is far from over. It is far from over tactician, it's far from over as Volcarona comes out onto the field to face off against, that's right, it's Necro Nebby. There we go, Necro Nebby. Now Goliath is going to be swapping out, going to be going bl back into the Blast Cephalon. Nippy does not like this Pokemon, really does not like it. It has a really nasty eye against Nippy. And here we go. Nebby gonna be going into its full form now, unleashing its true power through the Ultra Burst. So, Moon Gaze Beam coming out from Necrozma, or Ultra Necrozma as it's called. Bam! Right into the Volcarona, but Volcarona does not give a fluff. Quiver Dance coming out from the Volcarona, because, you know, that's what you do when you have a Volcarona, you go for the Quiver Dance. You know, why is it called Quiver Dance? What, what, what about it is big, makes it quiver? I don't know. As I go for a nice scald right into the Volcarona because I wanted to really shut this thing down, but it survives on a hidden focus sash. 1 HP. How does this thing survive on a hidden focus sash? I don't know, but that really was nasty against me. I did not want to deal with this, so Coralina is going to sit there and use Protect. I'm going to sit there and Protect because I know the Giga Drain coming out, and there it is. Giga Drain coming right out. Gonna be aiming for my Coralina, but I don't want my Milotic to go down. Prick Prick comes out, gonna connect down the Volcarona. Not very effective. Really risky, because I think that, that Volcarona had Flame Body. But regardless, it, that's the end of the Volcarona. Shadow Ball now comes out, going right under the Necrozma, and bam! One hit KO. So my partner is not really doing too good here. I'm still, I'm still standing pretty tall. You know, with Coralina. She's still standing really tall, not going down, not really taking much punishment. But my but my ally is really, really pun getting punished here for all these legendaries. Now Mr. Awesome the Rayquaza on the field, staring down against the Aegislash coming out for my opponent. Now Air Airlock is going to be just sitting there. We're doing, we're just still going to be sitting here. Now, 
Out comes Mega Rayquaza. The Big Daddy Rayquaza is on the field. This ain't my Rayquaza, so I'm not sure if this is Big Daddy Rayquaza. But regardless, we got Big Daddy Rayquaza on the field. I, I, I don't know where that name comes from. But we got Delta Stream activated. Woohoo! Delta Stream is activated. Out comes the Dragon Ascent. Gonna be going straight into the Blast Cephalon. Doing some smooch damage. Bam! Right into there. One hit KO. Mega Rayquaza is still on the field, doing bit looking pretty fancy. And Blast Cephalon is gone. Our opponent, one of our opponents, is out of here. And White Herb on the on White Herb on on Mega Rayquaza. Did not suspect that. As a burn comes out from my skull damage under the Age Slash. Gonna be hitting into the Age Slash, and that was really lucky because this was a Swords Dance setup Age of Slash. So I'm like, woo! Thank goodness. And still, Coralina, untouched really, unaffected by all the Pokemon on the field, still on the field. Now, out comes Goliath, I actually lied, I apologize, our opponent was not out of Pokemon, he was not finished, but might as well be finished because look at that, look at that burn, that, the, both our Pokemon, our, our opponent's Pokemon are burned, they're both really super weak, out comes the Shadow Sneak onto the Rayquaza, not gonna deal any damage. V Create Rayquaza coming out here, gonna be smack and dab into the Age of Slash. Bam! That's one down. That leaves one to go. And that's all. And our opponent is just really super weak at the moment. This is why you run Protect on Glizcorg. You don't go for like attacks, really. Guillotine comes out, not gonna connect onto the Rayquaza. That's gonna be the end of the battle as Coralina goes for her final Scald. GG to our opponent in this multi battle. Oh, that was that was really that was really insane. That was really silly. I can't believe I'm starting to do these multi battles more often. But regardless, we got another battle show off, and this is gonna be against me versus Wampy Tabor. Now you saw it as there in the preview. This team is the one, the only, the what you call it team. Oh yeah, this is the everybody support the wishy-washy as MP goes into Monarch and Annabelle. You can see what's going to be the strategy. I'm going to go for the extreme Evo boost, going to try to get my, you know, boosts off and put them onto my wishy-washy. And I'm going to be staring down a Feramosa. Raid Powder comes out from my Vivillian Monarch. And you don't trying to protect me. Ice Beam comes out. This is going to deal so much damage. In fact, this is going to bring me down to my Focus Sash. But guess what? It's not only going to do that, it's going to get a critical hit, it's going to bring me down to my Focus Sash, and it's going to freeze me! What the fluff? As Monarchy is going to make it sit there. Now, out comes the one, the only, the annoying head of censorship. Alright, look people, I'm going to try actually making a video one of these days where I actually just, you know, Record the extreme evil boost and put in like something that Kev gave me, like Groudon Gamer, and give me something here, you know, try to maybe get YouTube off my back and let me post these uh, extreme evil boost videos and all sorts of other cool, you know, Z moves. But until then, the annoying head of censorship. Now that that's out of the way, Eevee gonna be going on, gonna be trying to get these boosts off now. All I gotta do is survive against the Fedamosa. All I gotta do is survive against him. Now, unfortunately, Monarch is frozen, not able to get the Rage Powder off. Yellow High Jump Kick connects. I'm like, please, Evil Boost, save me. And they don't. I get super effect hitted from the Yellow High Jump Kick. Not able to survive. Not able to get the boosts off. I lose my boosts. I lose everything here. Slug Bomb comes out from the... Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, from the Venomoth, and it's just gonna take me down. Now I'm really in a pickle. I have no choice. I have to send in Baron. I have to send in Amy. I have nothing left, Tacticians. I lost my boost. Without the boost, Baron does not have the power. He does not have the speed. He does not have anything to survive with. He's just a wishy washy now in school form. So I go for the ally switch here, thinking maybe I can, you know, survive here. Maybe I can do some damage. I managed to avoid the poison jab from the Fenomosa. Sleep Powder comes out, gonna connect onto Amy instead. So I'm like, oh joy, just what I want. 
just what I needed. Baron goes to the skull here. I'm praying that the Faramosa is not focused at, or at least I get a burn. Fortunately, though, the Faramosa does not have focus at, so rest in peace for that Faramosa. So, everything is looking good. Everything is looking peachy. Aerodactyl now comes out from my opponent. Baron is still on the field. He's got his school form, at least. No, that is not something to mock up. Not something to make fun of. Not something to mock up. School form wishy-washy is very scary if you leave it alone and don't treat it with the respect it deserves. Unfortunately, my opponent is indeed treating it with the respect it deserves. So Mega Aerodactyl coming out here, gonna go for the Stone Edge, gonna connect straight on the Baron. He's not gonna survive that. That is a critical hit, and he is gone. Poor Baron. Sludge Bomb comes out from the Venomoth, gonna connect on the Amy. She's gonna at least, you know, endure that, but she's fast as. You know, she's getting sludge thrown on her, getting hit by all these things, but she's, you know, asleep. Out comes Ophelia now. I've got very few options left in terms of fighting. Earthquake comes out, gonna connect ton of both my Pokemon. Venomoth is gonna get hurt by as well. Ironically, it's also named Monarch. And, you know, that's gonna be the end of my Gardevoir Amy. Brick Brick comes out, gonna connect down to the Aerodactyl. and I'm hoping, like, maybe a Miracle Crit, but not gonna get that Miracle Crit. Sludge Bomb comes out, connects on Ophelia. That's gonna be the end of my Fenomosa, so... I'm down to one Pokemon, I'm like, okay, okay. I guess I can still do something here. I can at least maybe get one more KO to my name. One more KO, give me one more KO, Latias, as I go into Mega Latias right now. Unleashing what's left of all my power, the last bit of hope for my team. Pursuit comes out from the Aerodactyl. Why he needed that, I don't know. Bug Buzz comes up from the Monarch. Gonna connect on the Latias. He manages to cling to life at 8 HP. Gets the Mist Ball off, so I get one KO to my name. Oh, thank goodness Latias is, you know, just so OP. She's just so OP. I'm, I'm serious. She's just super overpowered. Now, out comes Gil Gigalith. is gonna be setting up nothing. He's just gonna be sitting there looking pretty. I'm like, okay, what do we do here? Stone Edge comes out, Aerodactyl misses it, Latias manages to get the recover off. I'm like, huh, maybe I can do something. Maybe I can do something with Latias. Maybe I can do just a little bit more damage, get rid of the Aerodactyl. But no, Gigalith, it comes out, smacks Latias with a Stone Edge. That's the end of it. GG, rest in peace, in peace, hopes, and dreams. Oh, that was a funny battle. That was a silly battle. Oh my goodness. I hope you guys all enjoyed Tech Digit Monday matches. And guess what? I'll see you all for more videos later on in the week. I'll see you all next time. I'm working on animation stuff, so if I don't upload for any reason this week or next week, you know, seriously, if I don't upload a video or two, that's probably why. I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye! I'm taking in what I can get, but I can't find the answers yet. Head in the water, slow my mind, I hold my breath. Till I'm found